Hello and welcome to Matt's Tech Show. Today I want to talk about chips and RAM on Apple products. There are many product options from TV boxes to iPads which run Apple Silicon, so I'm going to focus on Apple products running the A-Line. This means the A9, the A13, the A14 and so on. So we'll mainly be focusing on iPhones for this video. The short version is that Apple products run a chipset that powers them and they use a certain amount of RAM. This RAM is a temporary storage format where things like your apps are kept. On Android, you need a lot of RAM, because the system that runs everything is an inefficient system, where things are regularly dumped in RAM or inefficiently managed. iPhones are efficient and run processes cleanly, and this leads to a lessened need for RAM. However, this all leads to the question of how much RAM does an Apple product actually need? Well, this is an iPhone 5 from 2012, and recently I used this as my main device, stepping away from my 2019-11 Pro. Going from 4 to 1 gigabyte of RAM, I barely noticed the difference, aside from occasional edge cases. My apps didn't always stay open in the background, but the experience was far from compromised from a lack of RAM. However, what I did notice was the processor. If the RAM is the lungs, then the processor is the heart, and the faster the processor is, the faster everything will feel. So, this is a difference which I did notice, as the iPhone 5 was much slower. I also have seen this while using my iPad, which runs the Apple A10 processor as opposed to the A13 and my 11, which was far less noticeable than the iPhone 5, but I did notice that it was slower. And the Apple A10 has 3GB of RAM, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro has 4GB of RAM, so there isn't much of a difference of RAM which that can be placed on. So, what's the importance of all this? On iOS or iPadOS, RAM is not very important. However, the newer the processor is, then the newer your device will feel and the more smoothly it will run, due to factors such as chip size and efficiency. If you're looking at the iPhone 12 line, then 4 or 6 gigs doesn't matter. However, between the iPhone 12 and the 7 Plus, you will notice the A10 over the A14. Overall, if Apple supports a device, it is unlikely to make much of a difference. However, it is something important to be aware of while making purchasing decisions. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.